Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Boy Go CG. And today we are back with Hogwarts Legacy. I have completed the game at this point, but I have started a few different saves or a few different characters, I should say, in the different houses. I've done Gryffindor already. I haven't completed it all. I've got to up to the map chamber in the Gryffindor, but it, I, I didn't really come across any kind of quest that was um, uh, anything really new or interesting. But uh, I am now doing uh, Hufflepuff. And uh, this next quest here, which will lead me to the pages needed to get to the map chamber, um, is interesting, it's new, and I wanted to record it. So let's uh, do that. I just did the first Merlin trial. So right after that, we'll get a message popping up here. A portrait in our common there we go. room wants to talk to you. It's Eldritch Diggory. He used to be the minister for magic, I think. Eldritch Diggory. We know that name. We know his great great grandson or some shit. I don't even actually know how many years this apart it would intriguing. be. Um, of Cedric Diggory. You know? So, I'm gonna head back to Hogwarts. Back to our common room. And he'll work us through the mission. So, in our Slytherin playthrough, uh, we got uh, help from uh, I forget can't remember the uh, uh, house elf's name, but it's for uh, uh, the headmaster, for the black family. Um, he led us to Jackdaw, and then Jackdaw's tomb, and then we get the uh, then we get the pages, and the pages uh, will lead us further into the into the tomb, and it gets us to the map chamber. Essentially, that's how it goes. And for Gryffindor, it was. Uh, it was actually the um, headless Nick, or nearly headless Nick, that uh, eventually leads us to Jackdaw, and then same thing there. And this one's a little bit more different. You wanted to see me, sir? Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself. So few students know who I am these days. Heldridge Diggory, former Minister for Magic and founder of the Aura Recruitment Program at Ooh. your service. I believe you can help solve a decades-old murder oh. thanks to that book you found, and, in particular, its missing pages. How do you know about the book and the pages? We portraits hear more than you might suspect, and most of us can keep a secret. So, what say you? Surely a Hufflepuff such as yourself would be inclined to help seek long overdue justice. I'll do whatever I can. Wonderful. I am pleased to have been right about you. My great niece, Helen Thistlewood, can provide you with details. She's retired now, but was a skilled aura in her day. And the unsolved murder of which I speak was her case. I often visit my portrait in her home, in the nearby hamlet of Upper Hogsfield. Shall I tell her to expect you? How could right. a few pages of a book help her solve an old case? Her boy disappeared with those pages. Ah. They never found the body. Her girl was convicted of his murder, nonetheless. It seems those pages could exonerate her somehow. My great niece can tell you more. Can you tell me more about your great niece? Cream of the crop when it comes to auras. Her star pupil here. Well, I'm curious. Will this mission line just lead me ministry. back to Jack Toss tomb, or it will it be completely different? Not 100% certain. I know the Gryffindor one led just let me back to Jackdaw's tomb. There wasn't any, really anything interesting that was that different. It's nice to get away from the students and converse with someone who's familiar with my legacy. When were you the Minister for Magic? Over a hundred years ago. 1733 to 1747, oh. to be precise. The stories I could tell you... Oh, didn't have the chance to do all that I could. I was in the midst of reforming Azkaban when my life was cut oh, short. Oh, reforming dragons. Azkaban, you see. I was sneezing sparks to the oh, bitter end. Up my volume a little bit here. All right. I shall go and see her right away. Brilliant. With what I suspect is your knack for hard work and her keen mind, both mysteries may be solved sooner than you think. Yeah, maybe. I shall see you there soon, I hope. All right, quest started. I need to go to talk to Helen Thistlewood, and she is in Upper Hogsmeade, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we gotta travel to here, and then run our way up. 
And uh, yeah, so we'll go talk to her. I, I got up to this point right here. Or like I got up to like talking to Helen, then I realized, oh, this is much different. So I reset my save to where we started this uh, ep uh, this uh, part off. And uh, yeah, so I don't really know what's going on. It's not like I'm trying to pretend and like act like, oh, this is also different. Uh, other than the, the portrait of Diggory and uh, going to go see Helen, I don't know what's going on. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys at Helen Thistlewood. Huh. All right, we're here. Place Minister Diggory mentioned. Helen lives around here somewhere. Here you are. I'm pleased to see you took my advice. All right, Helen Thistlewood. Thistlewood. I met your great uncle in his portrait in my common room. He sent me to speak to you. I'm pleased you came. Uncle Eldridge believes the book you found and its missing pages may be relevant to an unsolved case from my time as an aura. Very well. I'm listening. Decades ago, a student named Richard Jackdaw disappeared after uh, going yeah, to meet a girl up. named Anne. They never found his body. When his headless ghost appeared briefly in Hogsmeade, wholly unaware of how he died, Anne was convicted of his murder and sent to Azkaban. It oh. was in large part due to the testimony of a girl called Apollonia Black. Jealous of Anne, I think. That sounds terrible, but I'm not sure how I can help. Anne's alibi was somewhat labyrinthine. She said Jackdaw promised her adventure following a map he found on some pages he'd stolen from Peeves. And you think Peeves ripped those pages from the book I found in the restricted section? If my great uncle is to be believed, yes. At least mm. that's what the portraits at Hogwarts suspect. Anne insisted that Jackdaw had asked her to follow the map with him, but only after she solved a series of puzzles he'd prepared. Odd way to woo a girl. She swears she never even solved the first puzzle, so they didn't meet. Jackdaw's ghost vanished almost as soon as he appeared. Without Jackdaw's puzzle, pages, or remains, Anne was sent to Azkaban based solely on Apollonia's spurious testimony. I don't understand. What can I do to help? I believe Anne may have solved the first puzzle by now, but after spending time in Azkaban, she's a shadow of her former self. She won't speak to anyone she doesn't trust. And she trusts no one. If you, a student with a connection to the pages, like Jackdaw had, spoke to Anne, she might reveal new information. Oh. What a horrible story. Well, if you think I can help, I'll come with you. This is wonderful news. Ooh, you ask a man we go. Kindness and bravery. Fortunately, being a retired aura has its benefits. We can apparate right to her. I've escorted ministers, professors, and many others to that blasted place. Never a student, I'll admit, but I will keep you safe. Can you tell me more about Apollonia Black? Wretched, vindictive girl, that one. Apollonia claimed that Anne threatened to kill the boy after he broke her heart. The Black family's power over certain people in the Ministry, along with the fact that Anne is muggle-born, sealed her fate. I'd like to know more about Anne. That poor soul never was the brightest girl, and that lack of wit proved to be her undoing. I half suspect Jack Dor and Apollonia were merely toying with her. Who could have known he'd end up dead? She's not held up well in Azkaban. In some ways, she blames me for not proving her innocence. I'd like to clear her name if we can. You said Jackdaw's ghost appeared briefly, then vanished. Where do you think he went? I have no idea. Evidently, he was always a bit restless, going on and on about adventure. If I had to guess, he tired of Scotland and is somewhere on the other side of the globe by now. Very well. Let's go. Steady yourself. We'll apparate together. Don't worry. I've never splinched anyone. Mm. Do take care now. And tread lightly in that horrible place. We'll be there in but a moment. Alright, time to apparate. The Azkaban we go, baby. So that is what makes this quest line much more unique. 
than the other houses. I don't know about Ravenclaw. I don't know if they have something very unique as well, but I'm definitely going to be playing through. Oh, look at those fucking Dementors. Holy shit. Throwing out. Oh, holy shit. That's so cool. That ought to keep them at bay for now. Though, be aware, you may feel a wave of despair. It will pass. It's wild how different this quest is because of you're just in a different house. We'll be out of here soon enough. Now, follow me. Like the Gryffindor one was different, right, from the Slytherin one, because you get to follow around a, a nearly headless Nick, right? Uh, but it it was really fast, and it wasn't really that interesting. Like it's it's wild how different this quest is. Wow, you are very rude. You don't scare me, young cur. I teach you so little of what you should know of. That witch you're with has a dark cloud over her. I can feel it. Who's there? Why torment me further? No one at school's going to believe this. Now remember, Anne has been here a long time. The Dementors aren't kind. Have patience and speak to her quietly oh, and respectfully. Are you Anne? Who's there? Who speaks to Anne me? this speak. Is that death? Finally come for me. Damn, poor I'm a girl. student from Hogwarts. I found the book that you said would exonerate you. Ah, the book, the book. No one would look. None of the mages found the pages. Oh, she has gone thinks crazy. The feckless knave meandered to his cave. My fate was surely sealed in Upper Hockey Field. Are you saying that the missing pages are in a cave? Near Upper Hogsfield. Hogs, Hogs, fields, fields, ruins, house, a vault concealed. A vault in some ruins near Upper Hogsfield. I suppose it can't hurt to look. Can't hurt to look, can't hurt to look. Go find the pages from your book. Helen, Helen, no, you're here. Come in closer, be a dear. Hmm. What is it, Anne? Whoa, what the fuck? Whoa. I was not expecting that. What just happened to her? Go. The cave. You're safe now. You have what you need. I'll be alright once I get... Oh. Where'd you go? What the fuck is just what the fuck just happened? Did you just get poisoned? But Madame Thistlewood, I oh, all right. I'll find it. I'll find Jackdaw's cave. Oh, this, this is different. Could dangerous if I'm not careful. See, in Gryff in the Gryffindor playthrough, or not the Gryffindor playthrough, but like when I did this quest, it just led me back to Jackdaw, and from Jackdaw we went to the same route Forbidden Forest to his uh Jackdaw's rest or whatever the hell it was called, the cave thing. This is different. This must be the place Anne told me about. No one's been here for ages. Revelio. Ah, I see how this goes. Yep. You couldn't outwit me, Jackdaw. Now, where's the clue you left behind? A note 
escaped from Jackdaw and never found it. So how did he die? Was she to blame at all? Hmm. Let's see where this leads us. If it leads us right to where I think. Oh, hello. Could it be? Has someone solved my puzzle after all these years? Well done indeed. Richard Jackdaw, at your service. The Richard Jackdaw? I heard you disappeared years ago. You have some explaining to do. I do? That was my puzzle you solved. What are you doing here? A retired aura, Helen Thistlewood, told me about a map you stole from Peeves, and then Anne told me about a cave. You saw Anne? Broke my heart. I had to go on without her. Probably best for her in the end. Dare I ask? How is she? Oh, dude. She was imprisoned in Azkaban for your murder. I fear the Dementors have taken an irreversible toll on her. What? Azkaban? Oh, poor Anne. I had no idea. I thought she'd written me off. I've been traveling the world for years to mend my broken heart. I came back here only recently. On a whim. I must speak to the aura you mentioned and see how I can help Anne. I'm glad to hear it. Before you go, would I still be able to find the pages with the map Helen mentioned? I'm almost certain I dropped them in the cave the moment I was beheaded. They're bound to be mouldering away with the rest of me. Tell you what, meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll show you precisely where to find them. If you don't mind my asking. I was having a look about. Hence? Helen mentioned Apollonia Black. Did she set up Anne to take the fall? Have you never met any members of the Black family? They can be rather... Vindictive. Once Anne showed an interest in me, Apollonia couldn't let it alone. That her own heart had grown cold. Oh, okay. How is it possible? I didn't. All right. Thank you. I shall see you. All right. So this has led us right back to Jackdaw, and right back to going to Jackdaw's rest to get the pages. Um. And I don't know if it's going to continue on with uh, Hel uh, Helen or Anne or any of that. If it does continue on, it will be in this video. If it doesn't, this is the end. But uh, yeah, so that that was the most interesting part of this quest was going to Azkaban. That was dope. And uh, I'd, I'd, to see something so different in just a different, uh, just to choose a different house is kind of wild. I wish the Gryffindor one was even more wild then. Because going to Azkaban is way more different than just having to go around, following around uh, nearly headless uh, neck or for Slytherin. It was uh, the house elf, uh, Apollon Apollonia's house elf. And for Ravenclaw, I don't know. I might make a video on that one if it's interesting enough. But yeah, this is uh, for Hufflepuff. If you want to go to Azkaban, choose Huff Hufflepuff, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.